What's up guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to improve your FPS for Fortnite Battle Royale on Mac OS X. First of all, and this applies to every performance aspect of your Mac, make sure that your operating system is up to date. Also, everything you need for this tutorial will be in the description below. After updating, close your applications running in the background, not only closing them, but completely quitting them. You can use the shortcut Command plus Q to do this. Next. Open up Fortnite and enter the video settings. Set the video mode to full screen, limit your frame rate to 60, set quality to low, and lower your 3D resolution to about 70. I recommend to quickly jump into a game to see if it improved your FPS already. If you feel like you have enough performance, then you can increase your 3D resolution again. Turn VSync and Motion Blur off. Now that this is done, close your game and right click your finder icon. Select Go to Folder. And in this dialog box, enter this file path. You can copy it from the description below. In this folder, back up your game user settings so that you can reuse it if you made a mistake. Open your game user settings with text edit. Here, you want to change your resolution size X to 1048 and resolution size Y to 576 for 576p resolution. Also, change your last user confirmed resolution size X and last user confirmed resolution size Y to these values. If you want an even lower resolution, then use 640 for Y and 484X for a 480p resolution. Change B use VSync to false and finally SG resolution quality to 70. Make sure to save the file and then close it. Now that this is done, try out which resolution works best for you. If your game is still lagging, then free up disk space and RAM. You can do this with programs like CCleaner and Memory Clean. If nothing helps, then you could try out the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is a cloud streaming service from NVIDIA, where you can rent a GPU and you can stream the game to your PC. This will use up as much resources as a Netflix stream, for example. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.